Hello learners, I hope you are keeping well. I am Ms. Lusasa from Zingisa Comprehensive High School in OR Tambo Inland. Today, I want to assist you in climatology. I want to focus mainly in those traveling disturbances that are associated with uh, anticyclonic circulation. Remember, learners, they are three. It's back winds, line thunderstorm, and also coastal low. But I want us to focus on back winds. I want to assist you on back winds. Okay, I know that you are under pressure. You are working so hard, preparing for final exam. As a result, I am here to assist you on the back winds. So now let's go to our slide. Back winds. We have the term here, back. What does the term back mean? It's an African word that means a mountain. These are, are winds that are, are occurring in the mountain. They affect our mountainous areas in South Africa. So these are local winds that are occurring on the mountain in South Africa. Remember, the mountain has the dry side and the wet side. So they are dominantly on the dry side. We call the dry side leeward side, if you still remember, in grade 11, when we were talking about fawn winds. Okay, then according to an examiner now, what, is, what, is, what, is, what are bag winds? The definition, define bag winds. Remember, define is an action verb. That is very important that you have to take note on the examination. This is the key word or this is an action verb that will guide you to answer the question. So take note of that definition. Define what are back winds. Now let's go and define back winds. Back winds are, are hot and dry winds. Are hot and dry winds that blows from the interior of the country uh, towards the coastal areas. They are blowing from the interior of the S government. Note that because it's a mountainous. This is happening on the mountainous areas of South Africa. So over the interior in winter season, you should take note of that. They occur in winter season from the interior. They are blowing from the interior into the coastal areas. I said define back winds. What are back winds? Are hot and dry winds that uh, descends the dry side of the mountain. They are blowing from the interior of the escarpment towards the coastal, coastal areas. And then why teacher these winds are hot and dry? You are saying are hot and dry are descending on the uh, dry side of the mountain. Why are hot and dry? You should expect that question on the examination. Let's go and answer that question. They are hot because as they descend from the interior to the coastal, to the coastal low, they are, are heated adiabatically, one degree Celsius per hundred meter. They are descending the dry side of the mountain from the high pressure into the interior. Why are they hot? It is because they are heated adiabatically, one degree Celsius per hundred meter as they descend the mountain. And then now let's move to the dry part. Why are these winds dry? These winds are dry because there is very little moisture carried from the interior due to the presence of the Kalahari High. Remember, these winds are occurring in winter season. What is the dominant anticyclone in, in winter? It's Kalahari High, high pressure. What are the characteristics of high pressure? High pressure is associated with cold air, with cold air. They are associated with anticyclonic circulation. The circulation of air movement is in an anti-clockwise. So now around a, 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 a high pressure, the air movement is in an anti-clockwise. And also high pressure is associated with less moisture. 
So this little moisture is carried out from the Kalahari High as the air now descends. This little moisture, as this little moisture descends the leeward side of the mountain, it evaporates and leads to drier. I've said the definition, back winds are hot and dry winds that are, are blowing from the interior into the coastal area. Why are hot and dry? Let's take hot. They are hot because as they descend the leeward side of the mountain are uh, heated adiabatically. Number two, why are they dry? Remember over the interior there is Kalahari High that is associated with the less moisture. As this air now descends from the interior towards the coastal low, the moisture is carrying out because it is descending. It becomes drier and drier. Now, let's move to the conditions that are necessary for the formation of these bag winds in winter. They don't just uh, form, or bag winds does not just form. There are conditions that are necessary for the formation of bag winds. As I've said that over the interior there is Kalahari High. So Kalahari High is one of the, of the conditions that are necessary. Number two, we have a mid-latitude cyclone that affects South Africa only in winter season. So the passing by of mid-latitude cyclone is also the required uh, condition for the formation of bag winds. Again, in coastline, there is presence of coastal low. Remember, coastal low is occurring all year round, in whether it is in winter or in summer. But there must be a coastal low over the interior in order for um, bag winds to occur. The last one is steep pressure gradient. Because over the interior we have Kalahari High, and then on the coast, we have a coastal low. Obvious, air moves from an area of high pressure to an area of low pressure. So this air, this cold air that is circulating in an anticlockwise now is moving towards the high pressure, sorry, is moving from the interior towards the coastal low, creating a steep pressure gradient. Now I, I want us to go to our illustration, to, to go to our uh, top view, the picture of what we are talking about. This is South Africa, you can see. This is South Africa, and then on the west coast there, we have South Atlantic Ocean. On the east coast, we have South Indian uh, Ocean. But here is the escarpment. Here is the escarpment, the dry side of the mountain and also the wet side of the mountain. So the air now is descending from the interior. Here is the interior where there is Kalahari High. And also, if you notice here, the circulation is in an anticlockwise direction, as you can see. And this anticlockwise direction now, it has this descending air. Why is this air descend? It is because it's influenced by the high pressure. Therefore, this air as it descends, if you can see, it descends uh, towards the low pressure over the ocean. As it descends, it becomes, it becomes hotter and drier. And it can lead to valve fires, as you can see. Here are the fires that are caused by this descending air. So this is just the top view. And also an examiner can ask you to draw the cross section of back winds. What is it that is expected from you when the examiner is asking a cross section of this? Okay, here is our cross section. But I want to, you to take note of this. This is our plateau, the interior. But I don't like this cross section. It is not okay because you are supposed to show that uh, circulation, that anticlockwise of circulation. So here is the correct cross section. I hope I will do it correctly. Co 
correct here. This is the anticlockwise circulation from the Kalahari high. And then the air will start to descend the escarpment. Here is the air that is descending the escarpment. But as it descends this leeward side, this dry side, this escarpment is heated adiabatically. If you can see here, we have 26 degrees Celsius. And then in this side, over the interior, how are the temperatures? Are very cold. The temperatures are very cold over the interior. Why? Because they are influenced by this high pressure cell. But if you notice, as it descends now, the leeward side moving towards the ocean, it becomes hotter, moving from 14 degrees to 26 degrees. Okay, then this is the sea. We have the coastal low here. As this wind is descending, it, can, it becomes hotter and drier and can lead to uh, wildfires. But we will deal uh, uh, with the impact of wildfires on a later stage. Now, the examiner will ask you to discuss the negative or the positive or just say briefly discuss the impacts of back winds on the environment the impacts of back winds on the environment if the examiner asks the impact so you should focus in both impacts the negative and also the positive but if the examiner is specific and said the negative impact on the environment. It is very important to highlight the keywords and also the action verbs in your question so that you can answer correctly. Now, I want to emphasize this to you, learners. If the examiner say, asks you to uh, discuss the impact of bag winds, do not say bag winds will do this but you are supposed to mention the conditions that an, are associated with back winds. What does that mean, teacher? Remember we said back winds are hot, back winds are dry. Then now that hot and dry winds, what are, what are their impact on the environment? So you are not expected to say back winds will destroy the environment. That is incorrect. But if you say dry winds increases the surface evaporation, they are dry. Therefore, there's a lot of evaporation that is taking place. And again, they are warm. Warm winds dry up vegetation. Lenners, uh, we will deal with this topic in my next video. Uh, I hope you are. Uh, enjoying my lesson and also uh, may you please leave the, the questions or whatever you want to ask on the comment section. Thank you so much. Good luck on your examination. I love you. Bye.